Google is constantly making changes to the ad offerings they have on the platform. And some of them they don't really boast about and aren't too loud about to begin with. For example, did you know that you can create headlines and descriptions that live at the campaign level that will apply to all responsive search ads in the campaign? Neither did I. It's a pretty new change from Google Ads, and I think in this video we're both going to learn something today. So let's walk through how to set up campaign level headlines and descriptions and talk through some scenarios where you might want to use them. I'm in one of our client accounts, and this video is going to be a bit different than many of the other videos on this channel. I actually need to set these up for this account, so you're going to get to see us publish something and have it actually be published. The first thing is to navigate to where campaign level headlines and descriptions live. As the name suggests, they live at the campaign level. So I've already filtered for a singular campaign where I need to get these set up. But although they are part of your responsive search ads, they don't live in the ads tab. They're actually a campaign level asset. So we're going to go to the assets page. And now we land on the associations page and we can see all of the performance for all of the assets that we have down here. You can see all of the different asset types, whether they're upgraded or legacy. And the ones that we want to start using are going to be these two right here, headlines and descriptions. Let's start with headline. If I click on that, it'll filter the table. Obviously we don't have any built just yet. So I'm going to come over here to the blue plus button. And now we get to start to create our first campaign level headline. As you can see, if you go to add to, the only option here is campaign. If you remember, other assets have the ability to be added at the account level or the ad group level, things like site links, call out extensions, but these and the descriptions will not. They will only live at the campaign level. So now we get one headline field. We still have 30 characters, but the description here is that you add a headline and this will be used across your selected campaigns. Obviously we're only in one campaign that's here, but we could have applied it to multiple different campaigns. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But this is where I want to talk about how campaign headlines work. Effectively, these campaign level headlines and descriptions allow you to associate up to three headlines and two descriptions at the campaign level. And these will be applied to all of the enabled responsive search ads within the campaign. So what that means is you now have a 16th, 17th and 18th headline, as well as a fifth and sixth description that you can use for your campaigns. That's quite a bit more ad text that you could leverage. And if we scroll down just a little bit, you can see what Google talks about as the benefits here. You can schedule short run promotions at the campaign level by using these assets rather than your RSAs. And you can also share specific messaging that changes frequently at the campaign level instead of doing it at the ad level. So now let's go back into the client account and I'll show you the example I'm going to use. For this account, we have frequent promotions that need to be part of our ad copy. And up until recently, I've always needed to update the actual ads, change out a few headlines and make sure that we had the promotional copy in the headlines. And I always reserved the same headline spot for that language so that it was easy to change out all of the ads in bulk. But now I don't have to do that. I can come in here at the campaign headline asset level right in our promotional copy. And now this language will be included as a 16th headline option for all of the responsive search ads in this campaign. That's a pretty easy option to use, but there are a couple things that I want you to be aware of. If you're like me and you have different assets pinned in different locations for your headlines and descriptions, you'll need to pay attention to the pinning over here. If we click on this pin, you can then make sure that this message will show up in any unpinned position. It'll show in position one, only in position two or only in position three. These campaign level assets will follow all of the same pinning practices that you have for your responsive search ads. So if you have every single one of your assets pinned, make sure that you also pin these headlines and descriptions or else they will not show up because there's no location that is unpinned. The second thing is that you can utilize some advanced options, which allows you to schedule when these headlines and descriptions will run. For this, I need the messaging to go live right away. So I'm going to leave the start date as none. But if you were able to get all of your promotions set up ahead of time and you just wanted to build them all out so you didn't have to turn them live on the day, you could pick from whichever day you want to have the headline go live on your selected day. But my campaign does have an end date. So I'm going to set this for April 30th when this promotion ends. So now I've very easily gone in, changed the promotional message, made sure that it will show up in my responsive search ads for this campaign, and it will automatically turn off when the promotion is no longer live. This is 
exceedingly easy. And as somebody who manages an account that has lots of different promotions that have all different sorts of timetables, this is a huge time saver. And if nothing else, a mental strain reliever. Once I get all the messaging for the ad copy, all I have to do is come in here, schedule them ahead of time, and I don't have to think about it anymore because it's going to take care of itself. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And here you'll see we now have a line item underneath the headline in the data table. You'll be able to see all of the same performance metrics that you can see for any of your site links or callouts or structured snippets. They're all here. And then you can customize your columns however you see fit. So you still have full control over all of the data that you'll be able to see. Before we move on to descriptions, I wanna show you how to apply these headlines to multiple different campaigns or to add this existing headline to more campaigns. The first one is pretty simple. I just need to filter for all campaigns, not just the one. Then we'll come over to create a new headline. I would then check the box next to all the campaigns that I wanna apply my headline to. Click done and add my headline. I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna do the second option, which is applying an existing headline to a new campaign, which is going to just require checking the box here, come over to add to, choose campaign, and then you get to check the box next to all the campaigns that you wanna apply it to. These actually aren't the campaigns I wanna use. I wanna use this one and now we'll click done. Now we have the second line item in here. We'll be able to see the performance for this headline for each campaign that it's associated with. Now, lastly, descriptions are going to be very similar to the headlines, but instead, they're going to be, you guessed it, descriptions. So here, if we come over to the blue plus, we could then check the box next to all of the campaigns that we wanna use. I'm gonna use these two. And then the exact same strategies would apply for your description as did for your headline. But instead of only 30 characters, we get 90. And these will show, obviously, in the descriptions place, not headlines. All of the pinning will still apply, and you still have the option to schedule exactly the same as you would for your campaign level headlines. These tools are pretty easy to use and don't require lots of advanced level strategies in my mind, but there are some really big benefits to how you can leverage these. Just having the additional three headlines and two descriptions for your RSAs is really great if you find that you're constantly running out of messaging that you wanna test and can't get it added into your existing RSAs. That also jumps me down to the bottom benefit that we have on here is that you can test your messaging without having to reset the ad level data or blur the lines between when one ad variant was active with some messaging and when a different one was active with different messaging. I find that it's much easier to be able to see these collective headlines at the campaign level if you're only testing a short change in messaging. And they also allow you to step out of the ad group an ad structure and up to the campaign level so that you could use the same messaging across the entire campaign if you need to. Ideally, you're customizing your ad copy as far as you can for each ad group, but there could be some messaging that's always consistent across all of your ad groups. Those could potentially now live at the campaign level and allow your ads to be more unique. And I'm definitely a fan of being able to schedule all of these headlines and descriptions because it makes them a very valuable asset for having short run promotions and trying to get ahead of your publishing schedule rather than making manual changes on the day that sales go live or end. While they might not be a complete game changer for your ad copy strategy, I do think campaign level headlines and descriptions have a role to play in just about every single ad account I can think of, not just those with these types of promotions. After this video, I hope you feel the same way. But if you have any additional questions about headlines and descriptions and how you can use them in your accounts, let us know what you're thinking in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.